righteous of God don't seek happiness. They seek righteousness. They don't live to seek pleasure, thrills. They live to seek what is right. And even if it hurts, they put what is right above what is pleasurable. And, in, 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 they, they, even if it is sacrifice, I, we must seek what is right, not what gives us pleasure. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. But you don't seek all the things. You seek the righteousness, the kingdom of God. There are good tears. The righteous also weep. You know, you'll never hear much of what I'm saying today in many churches or many ministries. We'll never go near it, yet it's part of the Bible. It's so much part. The righteous also weep with good tears. What are good tears? Not tears of self-pity, not tears of nobody loves me, poor me, not those tears. Not the tears of having no hope or despairing. Not tears of condemnation, tears of regret, tears of being rejected. No, there is a good sorrow. There's a godly sorrow. Now Paul speaks about it. And when he says there, there's a sorrow of the world, there's a sorrow of God. The sorrow of the world is a sorrow with regret. Meaning, ah, oh, I should have done that. I didn't do that. I wish I did that. And I, oh, this should be this, but it's not. He says that doesn't lead to anything. That leads to death. But then there's a godly sorrow that is not with any regret because you're not dwelling on the past. It, that doesn't do you any good. The godly sorrow leads you to repentance. And repentance leads you to life. A sorrow over sin, but in light of God's grace. Sorrow and tears over sin. That sorrow that leads to repentance, or even pain that leads to repentance. There are good tears. You know, people seek to avoid tears. People seek to avoid pain, to desensitize their heart. The problem is when you desensitize your heart to pain, you also desensitize it to the joy of the Lord. People seek to avoid any pain. Do they want pleasure? Want to avoid pain. They take pills all over America. We have an epidemic of pills, tranquilizers to numb their pain. Other people take drugs for the same reason. Other people take, other people drink for the same reason. Other people get into sexual promiscuity to try to numb their pain, to avoid tears or to numb the, the sorrow. And you know what? It ends up worse. It ends up with more pain and more harm. You see, this is going to sound, but pain, you know, we hate pain, but pain is not a bad thing. Let me tell you why. If we didn't have pain, we probably would be dead today. Pain is a warning system that God put into our being so we would stay alive. Pain, the nerves transmit pain to tell us we're in trouble, there's something going on, check it out, or something's here, get away from it, danger. Think about it. we hate pain, and yet pain is made to save our lives. Something's a danger to our life, it's telling us something's wrong. Pain is the red alert. So we avoid it, or address it, or go to the doctor, or give, lift it up, have it anointed, whatever it is, pray. The danger isn't good, the harm isn't good, but the pain actually is. Think about that. Think about that. Translate that. If you're feeling pain, I'm not talking now physically, even the spiritual pain or you're having emotional pain, you're, you don't know what, that's actually a warning or something that's there to help you. It's telling you that something is wrong that God wants to fix. So it's not a bad thing. I don't want this. I don't want it. It's actually telling you something. Something's not right. You got to get it. You got to get, you got to get it right. Something's not right. Might be in your life. Might be a sin. Might be the way you're, you're dealing with something. Might be a situation you're in. But it's saying there's a message in pain. So don't, don't you like, there's a redemption in it. Look to God for the redemption. He's going to use it for life and blessing in your life. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. 
That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.